Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series, the Moonrise Beach series, and the new Heartbreaker series. So I have a new planner here that just arrived and I do want to unbox it right away because I'm so, so excited about it. So a few weeks back, Julio did a restock of the Apoco Cloud. The Apoco Cloud has been on my wish list for so long. I know I've been saying in some of my videos that I've been wanting this color for some time. So when they did restock it, I know a few of you guys reached out to me to let me know that they restocked it. And so when they restocked it, I did go ahead and purchase it. So this is purchased directly from the Julio website and I couldn't be more excited about opening this up. I finally have my dream planner. So let me go ahead and pull this out of the box. I'm not sure what all of this is on the actual box there. Um, I literally just opened it. So hopefully everything is okay inside, but I did purchase a Julio Campagna in the personal wide. So I actually don't have any personal wides from Julio. Um, I have a couple of the personal size, which is a medium, but I have made the decision that I'm going to be going back to personal wide. It's been maybe three or four years since I've used this size, but I remember it being one of my top favorite sizes because it's not too big and not too small. If you are very busy like me and have a packed schedule, maybe you have multiple businesses like me, I feel like the personal wide or even the B6 size is a good size because it's not as big as an A5. The A5 I am currently using as my business planner and that stays only at my desk. I never take it with me. But sometimes I do want something that I can move to a different office or something like that. And I feel like this size is very good for that. You have a ton of room to organize, brainstorm, project plan, and that kind of stuff. But it's still pretty portable. So I would definitely recommend the personal wide size. So let me go ahead and open this up. It comes with a pouch as usual. Let me move this box off to the side. I'm so, so excited. Can't wait to see it. All right, so here it is. Look at the color. So um, in a few of my other videos, I have mentioned that I have been into the cool tones lately. So this is right up my alley. Like I said, this is the Apoca Leather. The color is Cloud and the Cloud is kind of like a light purpley gray color. So it's really nice, kind of like a neutral. Um, I just really, really love it. And I think it's nice for um, both spring and summer and maybe even winter time. But this leather is so pretty. So actually on mine, you can kind of see there's a few like striations across the top, like even up here as well. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but um, it's really beautiful. Let's see on the back. Yeah, here there's like a few lines here. And that's just part of the beautiful leather. It's so soft. It feels good to hold this in my hand again because it's, like I said, it's been a while since I've been in the personal wide size. But yeah, I absolutely love this size. One of my favorites for getting the job done. So let me move all of this stuff out. So this is the authenticity card. And then here is just um, instructions on how to open the rings. So you open it here on the side, not by opening these. So I did get to choose the rings, of course, when you order from Julio. And I chose the 30 millimeter silver rings because I was going for like a cool tone. And yeah, these are Krauss rings, so like they're the best ones in the market. And then I also chose the Lila pen. I do have a Lila, where is it? Let me grab it. I have my Lila right here, which is another color that um, Giulio has. It's definitely more purple, so I can compare it. Um, you can see against the cloud, the cloud definitely has more of that gray undertone. So um, the Lila definitely has more of that purple, which I think is beautiful. But this pen is called the Lila pen, and I think it'll match either one of these. Like this one's a little bit more bright for this planner, but I thought it would look nice with the silver and it is a ballpoint retractable pen. So that's really nice. I'm gonna pop that back in there. Okay, so let's go over the pocket configuration. If you have never seen 
the personal wide, um, it does say Giulio Compagna here at the very bottom. And then first thing is you have the big back pocket. I love this lining because it's so soft. It's also leather in there. So I love to have the back pocket. And then you have two secretarial pockets, one in the front and then also in the back there. So lots of room for all of your stickers or papers. Then you have a zippered pocket here. I have a charm that I definitely want to add there. And then you have the slanted pocket. I use this pocket to put sticky notes and other things in. And then you have another slanted pocket on the front. It's great for putting deco and things like that. It does come with a matching fly leaf and the back of it is super, super soft. I like that it's black too. And then on the back, this is the main difference for the Campagna and the personal wide because it is wider. You do have two sets of the card slots and there's four here and four there. So eight in total. So these are great to put your task cards in. I'm definitely gonna be adding mine in there. And then it does have a adjustable pen loop. So there's the elastic on the back. Um, the button closure is just the one here. So, and then on the front, it has one as well. So that's what it looks like. Really, really beautiful. I already have inserts from my shop. Um, they are principles ready to go. So I'm gonna move into this straight away. I can't wait to start using this size again because I have a lot of stickers that I want to use up. That's kind of like one of my goals for this year is to use up all of my stickers. So I think putting them in the personal wide size will allow me to go through them much faster. So I'm really excited about setting up my monthlies, my weeklies, dailies, and then I'm gonna be having some different uh, sections in here. So I think maybe I will do like a flip through or would you guys like me to do like a setup video like showing you how I set up this planner? Let me know because I haven't done one of those in years um, or I can just do a flip through of when it's all complete. Um, so just let me know what you guys prefer and I will happily do that for you. But I'm so excited. I finally have my dream planner. This is the last color that I wanted from Julio. I pretty much have all the other colors that I want from their collection. So um, yeah, this feels like a unicorn for me. I'm so glad that I finally, finally have it. It feels so great in my hands and I'm definitely excited about moving into it. So that is my video for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little walkthrough of my new beauty. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Um, if you guys are interested in some printable inserts for your ring bound planners, you guys can always use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off in my shop. I have them for lots of different sizes already in the shop, but I may be making some new ones for the personal wide soon. So we'll see about that. I will do a whole video on it if I end up doing that. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.